Helen Levitam, she is mostly known um, for her photographs, um, but at the same time she was not only working as a photographer but also as a filmmaker. So, um, because for 10 years, I think she started in 48, um, she concentrated only on filmmaking, but at the same time she was also working in many other medias. For example, she did uh, slideshows, um, so she produced slides, but she also made many books. So, um, to see her only as a photographer, in my opinion, opinion is very reductive. She has been, of course, most known uh, for her street photographs in New York um, that she produced throughout her life, pretty much. Mm -hmm. um, and she has produced outstanding work, especially in photography, for at least seven decades. Um, so in this show, um, we're trying to, in a kind of condensed and really interesting way, show these seven decades, but also include um, exactly these different types of media in mm -hmm. some ways that engage with the photographic practice but also go beyond it. The exhibition is ordered uh, thematically and um, that's also kind of important for us um, because we also wanted to give a new perspective on her work and um, grouping the show um, based on different themes gave us the possibility to um, to get into different topics like for example um, gestures or um, also the street as a theatre and to really get into the de details or detailed questions. And throughout her life has kind of these tropes as well that she's kind of going back to and revisiting and I think that that comes through especially through these um, six themes in the show. You know, the relationship between the moving and the still image is um, really interesting um, with regard to Helen Levitt. Um, because um, also in the street, you know, the, the very famous movie she did, um, she did it not alone. There was also Janice Loeb um, involved. And so for us, um, sometimes it's, we are not sure who actually held the camera. Was it Janice Loeb or was it um, Helen Levitt? But um, when I went through the archive, I also found film stills. So um, this means that um, Helen Levitt um, took uh, photographs with her camera and Janice Loeb um, was um, filming um, meanwhile. But at the same time, um, she looked at scenes um, differently with, uh, through the moving camera because um, she had to cut it. You know, it's um, a different order. It's a chronological order in a way she's telling a narration, even if it's a documentary form. So um, in, in her photographs, um, it's much more about the moment, about the snapshot. Also, she was very much influenced by Henri Cartier-Bresson. So in a way, it's a completely different approach how to see things. So I think to, to show her work right now is especially to update how we understand Helen Levitt's work and how we kind of um, exhibit it as, as, as was said before that there's this kind of long tradition of showing her. Helen Levitt has been exhibited three times already here at the Photographer's Gallery. So it's, um, we have that kind of history as an organization with exhibiting her work, but this is obviously the first time that her work has been presented as a retrospective, as a kind of her entire career, inside, featuring work from those seven decades. The most dif difficult um, aspect in creating this exhibition was cutting down the work <laughs> because um, I worked on this exhibition for four or five years so I've been to the archive many times so I've seen all the negative strips I've seen all the prints and it's just the material material the photographs are so good so and, you know over the years first I had a selection of 300 prints way too much and so I had to cut it down and I think now we are exhibiting 140 prints but the selection process is always the hardest part in um, doing an exhibition. You could always put a Helen Levitt show on and it would be of significance and of importance. It, it is kind of universal, it is not something that is just kind of steeped in that specific time frame. She's obviously looking at specifically Brooklyn and South Harlem in New York. She hasn't photographed in London, for example. It is not like, um, oh, this is our city that we're looking at right now. But obviously we're looking at characters, we're looking at people um, and how they behave and how they act on the streets in that certain time. And we can connect to that and we can find interest in that.